Hi, welcome to the Destin Business Forum. I'm your host, Amy Perry, and our first guest is Carol Gentleman, Gentleman yes. owner of the Doggy Bag in Destin. Welcome, Carol. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I have been in the Doggy Bag several times, so I, I know what you carry, um, but for everybody that's watching, why don't you just give us an overview of everything that's in the Doggy Bag, well, we as carry, quickly as you can. Okay. We can. We carry premium grade dog foods, which are the higher end dog foods without wheat, corn, or soy. Um, we carry collars, leashes, toys, dresses, one of a kind dresses that are made specially for me <laughs> <laughs> and my dogs. And we're a bakery. We do birthday cakes, we bake cookies, and um, we have a table of baked goods that we make and we just carry anything for your dog or cat. Yes, it's called the doggy bag, but you do carry do, items yes. for we cats. We have a nice cat section. You do? Yeah. Um, and I, um, I always have animals, it seems like. Um, I recently, well, within the last couple of years, got a dog that has a, a wheat and a corn allergy. Mm -hmm. So I now appreciate the dog foods that don't have that in it. Before, I just thought, oh, people must not want to feed their, their animals that. But that yeah. is really a needed thing because... My dog, I don't know about others, but my dog gets really bad ear infections if she eats yeah. certain things. So you sell, are there a bunch of different brands of that? Or Yes, we sell um, a lot of grain-free foods, but none of our foods have corn in them. Corn is a filler. It's like a cheaper filler, and it's a major allergen in dogs. So um, the higher-end foods won't have the corn, which makes them itch, and it gives them yeast infections in their ears yes, and yes. things okay. like that. So um, we carry um, Origin Dog Food, Canada, Holistic Select, um, Taste of the Wild, Chicken Soup for the Dog Lover's Soul. <laughs> that's a dog food? There's, yeah, it's a dog food and a cat food. And do the dogs seem like they like, like those foods pretty yeah, good? Yeah, they really do. The foods don't have dyes in them or anything, okay. and they, they're just, you know, good food, like not scientifically made Alter. or anything. They're just good foods. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And you have um, the special dog collars. I think I've, I've gotten one there before that it's got like a mesh thing in the front that's supposed mm -hmm. to be easier on the yep. body or something. There, um, we have two of those. There's a Gooby is one of them. And then Gooby. the uh, Gooby. <laughs> and the other one is Papilla. And they are, they don't pull on their necks. So dogs with soft tracheas shouldn't really have collars on their necks they have harnesses and it hits them about right here so the pulling is from the back and not from the the neck and okay. the throat so and you've got a wide selection of toys too a I very noticed. wide selection of toys um any favorites well there's the mr bill toy that what when you that? squeeze him he goes oh no mr bill is that really <laughs> the good old mr bill from saturday night live yes <laughs> Okay. Everybody loves Mr. Bill. All right, anything else? Um, let's see what we've got. We <laughs> just <laughs> all kinds of things. We've got lots of um, chew sticks, bully sticks, and different things. Now, what is the bully stick? Because I've noticed um, people say those last a really long time, and I, I just must have a dog that chews through. Well, depending on how large it is, it's yeah. not um, made to last, but they digest it better than they do rawhide. They really oh, shouldn't okay. have rawhide because that gets gunky in their stomach uh -huh. and just kind of doesn't digest. The bully stick is a muscle and um, a muscle? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we, we, <laughs> I don't know if we want to go there. Okay, 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 that's good. But it's but it's easier it's, it's easier to digest. Easier on the stomach and that's what they should have rather than a rawhide. And um, a new thing that we've got, well I've had them I guess for the past couple of years was deer antlers. I've seen those, and yeah. those do last a long time. They last a very long time, and they um, they love them, and it's full of calcium and minerals, and they're the sheds, so no one was harmed to, you know, have a treat for your dog. But yeah, those the, are And they're really good, good for their teeth. Those are those are really good. The bully yeah. sticks, I'm glad you told me that, because I, for some reason, I thought that they were supposed to last a really long time, and they... No, they kind of eat them pretty quick. Yeah. And if you have, they're, I guess if you have a little, little dog, yeah, they would last they will. a lot longer. But that's good to know that they're easily digestible. Yeah. Speaking of easily digestible, this yes. this looks like, I don't know if the camera can see, this looks like something that um, I want to eat. Um, <laughs> you could. I mean, these, these these are cupcakes, right? Yeah, they're pup cakes. Pup cake, yeah, for the pup puppies. Cakes. Um, and I don't know if the camera can get a, a close-up on this, but 
they're cupcakes, and then you have little squirrels. Look Those at are that. the peanut butter squirrels. That's a peanut butter coating with carob. It looks like chocolate, and it tastes like chocolate, but it doesn't have the chemicals in it that dogs aren't supposed to have I mean, with look the at chocolate. That. I don't think the dogs appreciate it as much as probably their owners do. And then the, <laughs> this bone that says yum. Wait a minute. That says yum. I mean, that looks delicious. And it what's is. the what's the coating? Is that the a yogurt? The coating is a yogurt coating, and um, it's basically a peanut butter base <clears throat> cookie. Good. And um, they smell really good. They're really good out of the oven hot. We try them. We try everything we make. So um, it's all human grade. You actually things. eat everything. We right? actually eat it and I have people that buy the pup cakes for themselves. Because, really? Yeah. They have no sugar or salt so they're sweet. They've got honey in them but mm -hmm. um, they like them. It's like a health food. And I don't go in there every day but but the times I've gone in there you have fresh stuff in your bakery every day. Mm -hmm. So you, every you day cook we every day. We try to bake. We bake birthday cakes to order so large, medium, small. And we put their names on them. That's right. You were telling me that you, you had made one and you're, you're sending it off to another yeah, state. Sending it off to Houston, Texas today for Levi. Wow. <laughs> and it's, it's the um, corn-free, mm -hmm. wheat-free? Wheat-free. Well, it's made with wheat flour. Okay. I can make them with rice flour if the dog, you know, is allergic to wheat. Mm -hmm. And I've done that. And how but, much advance notice do you need for a cake? Is it like well, a I made, birthday cake? or I made one Saturday. Um, they called in the morning, and okay. I had it ready at 4.30 for them. I mean, if we're not busy, I can do it, and I will do it if I possibly can. But um, we ask for a week's notice. Okay. But, right. um, and you allow pets? Allow pets in, in the store. We love it when the animals come in. Probably don't have a lot of cats coming in, but you do have no. dogs come in. Dogs come in all the time, and they... Come to see my dog Friday, who um, <laughs> was a rescue dog, and um, she's kind of the local color around there. <laughs> right. Does she try out all your... She does. She's a little large, so thank goodness for the dog park, because <laughs> <laughs> I take her now, and she runs, and we're trying to get some of that weight off, but... Um, well, I love the doggy bag. I think it's um, it's a great, um, great idea. Um, it's located right next to, not right next to, but in the same complex as Barnes and Noble, right. next to the ice cream shop, so mm -hmm. humans can take their dogs into the doggy bag and then go get and some ice cream next door if they need to. Um, anything I've left out? I know there's... Well, in the summer, we have frozen yogurt for dogs. Seriously? So when, yeah. <laughs> so when you get your ice cream, you can sit outside and have, he can have a yogurt and you can have your ice cream. So... Um, Do you make yeah. it? No. It's a. It's called Yoghund, and I buy it, but it's specially made for the dogs, and it tastes good. It comes in um, blueberry vanilla and banana peanut butter, so little mixtures like that, and it comes in the ice cream cups, you know, like old-fashioned ice cream used to come. Carol, I've learned so much about dog food. <laughs> <laughs> you Our, just didn't know there was so much to learn. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Well, thank you for coming and well, um, thank sharing you for this, having me. this with us. And thank you for being a member of the Destin Chamber. Well, thank you. We'll be back.